All right, I'm with uh, Nate Miley, Alameda County Supervisor. Nate, good to be with you today. You're kind to come out. This is a cause, opioid addiction, you know a great deal about. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think this is a wonderful event to raise awareness and educate the pop populace about the need to deal with prescription abuse, to deal with the need to properly dispose of medications, to recognize that this is a problem. It is a problem across the board in all communities, all ethnic groups. It doesn't uh, matter who. And the point is, often young people and adults and others are abusing prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications and it's very important that we try to get these medications disposed of properly and also try to work with doctors so they don't over prescribe medications as well now you fought a David and Goliath battle with the drug company in Al Alameda County tell me about that yes back in tw uh, 2012 the County Board of Supervisors we passed an ordinance a safe medication disposal ordinance um, and the pharmaceutical industry sued us and it went all the way from the federal district court here to the United States Supreme Court and ultimately we prevailed because what we were saying to the pharmaceutical industry is if you're manufacturing these drugs you're responsible to make sure that they're properly disposed of when people decide they don't want them anymore or they've expired and the pharmaceutical company felt well no that's not their job people can just put them in tea leaves or coffee grounds flush them down the toilet bury them whatever but that's not their responsibility and we said no extended producer responsibility requires that you do this. Everybody needs medications and then if they don't need them any longer then as the manufacturer of these that cost should not be passed on to the consumer nor to the taxpayers. You should take care of it. And you won that battle which is remarkable. Yes we did and the you know the pharmaceutical industry said they would bankrupt us but uh, I'm pr really pleased that the Board of Supervisors, District Attorney, Sheriff's Department, our health people, our county administrator, everybody held firm that we're going to see this through to the end. And why Nate did you decide because that's a courageous decision to keep up that fight because it could have been theoretically bankrupt the county or at least cost a lot of money. Yeah well I've done a lot of work with older adults and and I've seen what uh, prescription abuse can do to older adults sometimes they misuse prescriptions and then also young people decide decided to be, bring this to my attention and I found out from organizations that are working in our schools how young people are abusing having farm parties and abusing opioids in fact I mean opioids is one of the biggest uh, drugs of, uh, of abuse in this country. Uh, it, out, it outweighs marijuana, it outweighs um, uh, methamphetamines, other types of things. So, and, and it's a product that needs to be properly addressed. How did we get into this mess? It seems like we got into it very suddenly. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe we're just more aware of it. I think we got into it because pharma, because doctors have been over prescribing uh, people have been holding on to medications and when people die and pass away that sort of thing often uh, people find medications that are left over they don't know what to do with them uh, I've been told too that sometimes people get additional medications and they're actually selling them so I think it has been something that's just become more or less the norm and uh, as of late we've begun to wake up to this big problem. All right now you're an Alameda County Supervisor. We're in Contra Costa County, but you must feel so strongly that you came to another county even to, to speak about this issue and address this issue. Definitely. We have a Meds Coalition, Medication Education Disposal Safety Coalition. We're partnering with Contra Costa County. And when we pass our ordinance in Alameda County, other counties both in the state and throughout the country, as well as some cities, began to pass similar ordinances to address uh, pharmaceuticals and their proper disposal. So this isn't something that we're standing alone on. We want to encourage other counties, other jurisdictions to take up this banner as well. Great, great. Nate, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it. Thank you.